Yo, hello everyone. Enhance your project management efficiency in 2023 by connecting Zana to Google Calendar. This tutorial will walk you through the steps to synchronize your Zana tasks and deadlines with your Google Calendar, allowing for better task prioritization and time management. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the first thing that we need to do is simply head up to azana.com and have your account registered. You really have to get an account both in Calendar and with Azana. So Calendar is easy. You just have to get a Gmail account. If you have a Gmail account already, that's mean that you have Azana already. But for I mean, we have Google Calendar already, but for Zana, you have to create, you have to do stuff, and yeah, it's it could be a little bit longer. That's why you just have to skip it like that. In my case, I'm just skipping it. I'm going through it so fast. So here, project A, for example, I'm going to use boards and then continue. Here was a few tasks that you had to do in project A, design, voice, and editor continue and here continue and here we can add the emails of anyone and skip over now and here we go so now we have this account ready for go to go so what should we do next now as we have this set up and ready to go here if you want to this section can go to the admin console on the settings so let's go to the settings here there's apps and in these apps sometimes you might find the app that you are looking for so let's search for Google Calendar so create a new app and here which best describes what you will uh, what your app will do for example what's much work in Zana and then I agree and then give it Google Calendar create app and as you can see, um, it is so hard to get it and to add it, find it, or even to copy the code from Google Calendar and add it here. The same thing goes for Google Calendar. If you search for it and you opened it, it will not have any kind of help. You might find some help. I'm not telling you all not, but yeah, it's very hard. So if you want here to the settings and you click on get add-ons, you will have to click in here, search for apps and search for Azana. So sometimes you might find it, sometimes you will not. And here, as you can see, I didn't find it. So what is the solution? How can we connect them both? It is very easy, guys, because we are going to use today a third app that will connect them both together, which called Zapier. Zapier is an app that will automate the whole process for us. First of all, let me show you how to connect to this app. You just have to head up to zapier.com as you can see right in front of you and then click on one of these two options. Start free with email or start free with Google. Let's go with Google. Choose your email. And then the next thing, you will face this interface. Now you have to click first on this menu and search for apps categories and then you will have to add the apps that you are interested in. Starting from Google Calendar, I have it already in my list, but I will just show you how to connect it. Click on connect, choose an email, and the next thing is to allow these access or these permissions. And there you go. Now click here, test connection, and it is tested successfully. Now let's go back to the apps. Here says for Zana. As you can see, here it is. Now click into the connect button and then click on allow. Give it the permission and then you are ready to go. Do the same thing to test the connection and the test has been done successfully. Now let's click on this button which says create zap and here we are. So here you can write any prompt that you have in mind. As an example, when a task has been created, add it to Google Calendar. But here we have to add, which is uh, on Azana first. So here we go. 
and that's it for example this is the thing that we want to do and uh, this app is not only for two apps as like intermediate it can be doing like three tasks four tasks at once for example when a task has been created on Xana, make me a google sheets column and add it to the calendar and at the same time send a message on gmail to that person who is concerned with this task so you can do all of that with only writing it over here then click on generate they will give you an example of what you want or what you meant from this uh, text so synchronize is another task with google calendar new task in project create detailed event in google calendar so let's try it out click on Zana, and here we have to go through this process of connecting to our account it has done be, it has been done uh, automatically since we have uh, already an account connected click on continue workspace i'm going to go with project a here we go that i have chosen continue and now test your trigger we started collecting tasks in your account we'll find the most recent one and so now we have to create a new task so let's do that i'm going for example here and let's give it a new task so let's give it a task so here we go we want to open it or we, let's go with my tasks and add a task and let's say make it or let's go through here uh, later directly make it now as an example so now after I've, uh, I have written it added as a sub as, as a tab, uh, sub task so let me just find this real quick make it now so here as you can see make it now is a sub task now let me just go here test trigger and it has been done successfully now let me just close this by clicking on continue with selected record and then let's choose an account that we have in our google account so let's choose for example this one continue let's do an action choose value this one and continue here send created detailed event to let's do that so here required field start date and time is missing required field and the time is missing so let's click here let's remove this um, here we go let's remove that and let's remove this as well so we don't have any any kind of problem uh, here let's add anything that we have here uh, the same thing goes for this one and uh, everything seems good so let's continue this step and now it has been passed successfully so let's continue and here we go so now all we need to do is click on publish so it can be published and the next thing is turn it on now why can I can I not turn it on simply because I have an account with limited zaps since I have already used maximum amount of zaps on my account I have to upgrade my account to a premium version so I can use more than these zaps as you can see I have total of five on five zaps which is a monthly users of five hours now how can we turn on or turn off something you can just go to an old zap here as an example and turn them all off and now after I refresh this number should be reduced let's wait oh they have turned on again all right okay it, it must be like permanent number so that's why we can't really change it we have I guess to delete them all so we can get the access to these zaps and turn them on again so this is the problem that you might be facing but in general this is how you can connect both your Azana account to your Google Calendar. So thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.